Machine Tool Distributors. You know, a friend of mine, Phil Jude, up at uh, Absolute Machine, just north of Cincinnati, is uh, working on a project and he needed some help on process. Uh, he's got a, uh, a Lyco LNT 42S 4S machine and he has a customer that has a part that's stainless steel that they have to have some sharp corners and they want to do this in production. Because it's stainless steel you've got some, some special issues so here's what we came up with. There was some end detail that we did, okay, chamfers and stuff for a thread. And then we came in with a drill, okay, we drilled at the bottom and we left about 10 or 15 thousandths on the hole, in the hole. And then we came in with a rough reamer. The rough reamer had a, a 10 thousandths by 45 chamfer on both diameters, okay. And then we came in and we left uh, with a finished reamer that had square corners. And in order to make life, we only left two thousandths in the hole. Now, one of the things that's an issue when you get into an application like this is if you're reaming, especially in stainless steel, and you don't have a lead on your, drill, on your reamer, okay, it's going to wear out. You'll never hold a sharp corner taking any stock off, especially when you've got to come in and you've got to clear out all this area here. So what we did on our rough reamers, we make it end cutting and we put a 10 by 45 chamfer on there, which is just enough to cover this 10 to 15 thousandths here. We come in, we ream it, and then we've just got a small area here that's about 10 thousandths, and we're only taking two thousandths off on the diameter, and the reason we just take two thousandths off is because we want the reamer to lead in and follow the hole from the first reamer. So we come in, we go to bottom, we go to bottom here, this material's all gone, okay, and there's very little stock to take out, and that's going to extend our life of our reamer.